Okay. Right. Let's just get this show on the road. Okay. This will be a boring one, but hopefully we'll take a section out and make it look really interesting. So we're going to take a section. We're going to make it... How big will it be? 250 that way and 250 this way. Right. I think negative positive would be good for this to make it more abstract. It's a bit of a boring topic, as you'll see. Background colour. What shall it be? Going to make it blue for this one. See how we go. Go and make it dark. Red. I'm wondering if we're going to leave it out. So now we're just going to going to warm up the hue. Copy density. Yeah, we don't need that. Red is going to stay in the middle. That's okay. Um, saturation, sharpness. I'm actually wondering why am I using brightness if I'm not using that. So now I might as well just go back to copy density and think, well, maybe I was a bit dense. Haha, <laughs> we're going to use the contrast here. So we can't use it with brightness. We'll soon find out if we can live without using the red for this one. This one's a really boring topic, colour-wise. and Some of the shapes are interesting. Uh, there's a certain shape to it that I like. That'll go down well, I'm hoping. But anyway, it is Luxaflex, available at David Jones Blinds. You can see boring, but these will look good once I've used this part as my piece in my artwork. So I'm going to make those blinds look really distorted and interesting. So this has got to be better than focusing on the whole image we're just focusing primarily on the blinds because of their geometrical type of um, appearance when the, and they'll be good for movement hopefully I'm hoping so let's see how they look whoa we fucked up it looks boring look at that it's all straight it's all straight it still looks quite interesting but yuck we didn't do do a very good job of it so We've got to try that again. We've got to somehow work out where we're going to do this. We're going to make this. These blinds are meant to be. I was meant to warp them really severely. We just didn't warp them, unfortunately. For some reason, we didn't. It's just taking a bit of practice trying to get it right. Or we'll trying just a few goes, maybe. Um, let's see how we go with this one. Yeah, that looks more interesting. It's a fairly subtle sort of a bend, but it looks good. And this can be the center of the job. So the blinds have a little bit of a geometrical shape to them now. So we're just going to throw this on our recycle. I was thinking maybe we should do more, but the center looks good. So we're now got a little bit of blue there, but not much, <laughs> I must admit. So now we're just going to switch this over going to go here we're going to make it 104 that way and 104 this way and we're just going to put this on the glass and we're going to overlap the edge so we don't get any borders so we're just going to overlap just like so okay right just going to drop the dock feeder down and we're just going to set that in place and we're just going to go here and we're just going to take away some of the um, settings like the negative positive remove the blue um, color adjust we'll soon find out what we can do here um, we're just going to leave it like that and see how we go Oh, we've got to set this up, copied paper, and now we're ready to go. Okay. Okay. 
okay out it comes our first image they're very hot looking blinds now they look quite surreal there's a bit of color there which i like and some color there you can see just a little bit of the blue there so i think we've got that right now we're just going to i wonder if we're gonna i was thinking of, a, of doing a horizontal enlargement but i'm thinking nah maybe not Okay, that's our second part of this Luxaflex blind composition. I'm sure it's going to look a lot better than just what we see of these images here on their own. So, oops, just trying to line that up, trying to get the corners to touch. Now we're just going to punch off two mirrored versions of this. So we've just got to find our mirror image button and we're just going to switch it on and then punch off two copies of the same finish and then start okay so this looks really good i like the blue bits and the and i love this flash there it looks really nice and the color the hot colors on the edge too so now we're just going to line these up just gonna just line it up just line it up nicely it's hard to see because we've got a bit of curling happening here so it's going to be a little bit difficult to accurately line things up as much as i'd like them to be accurate um it's not easy um but anyway these are our blind wow that looks quite nice it's, it's quite an interesting pattern in some ways it's simple in other ways it's not so simple so i think now we can call this blind demo quits